So good morning. We are in the first day of our challenge. We have formed two teams. Everything is composed of different members of our class. And now they are going to be assigned their challenges. Hi, I'm Matteo Nunziati. I'm from Italy and I'm studying uh, flight design. Hi, my name is Audrey. I'm from Indonesia and my major is flight vehicle design. Hi, I'm Hong Chiang. I'm from Malaysia. I study flight vehicle design. Hi, my name is Hamza Ibnum. I am from Pakistan. I study mechanical engineering. Hi, I'm Marianne. I'm from Pakistan. Hello, good evening. My name is Tafikul Islam. I'm from Bangladesh. My major is mechanical engineering. So, the first challenge is here in the exhibition hall of Beihan University. As you can see, the front of this structure shows a lot, a lot of exquisite mathematics on it. And our two teams, or one of our two teams, is going to describe how these, uh, how these arts have been designed, which are the mathematical relations that have been used to construct them. <laughs> Let's play with decimals! <laughs> so welcome to our second challenge. Behind me, you can see one of the other greatest structures in Behan is the museum. You can see. Our competitors have to describe again using mathematics the relation between the shapes and the figures in this structure. So, finally, we are in two of the most important structures in Beihan, and maybe most beautiful and enigmatic structures. Behind me, you can see the gym. You can notice a very particular shape on both edges of this structure. If you go on my left, you can find the pool of Beja, which also has a very particular shape. Our dear students, our dear participants, are going to fit these structures and are going to use mathematics to describe them. Okay. Maybe in two weeks we, we need to finish it. So I don't know, or if you finish it, we can it. So I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, it's first time. Take time. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank Wish you a uh, good see you. Thank you, sir. Thanks to you. Thanks to you. I hope you enjoy. Hello. You have just viewed what the challenges are going to be. What we are doing is using PBL method. What is the PBL method? It is a problem-based learning. Our students in Beihan University are being challenged. Their knowledge and their skills are going to be tested. PBL is a method that helps the, the students to grab the concepts and the ideas learned in class. They are studying the first year of their majors and I am their teacher in Advanced Mathematics 1. I'm really worried about, about their learning. I'm really worried about what is going to happen in their future. And my main interest is to providing them with the tools and the skills to use mathematics in the real life. The main purpose of mathematics is to teach them and help them to understand the world around us. So with this purpose in mind, I have planned an activity, I have planned a, a challenge that is going to help them with this. I'm using the PBL method, which is a teaching learning process, widely used abroad, and it's a method on which I have been trained on. So, this challenge is going to take some days, several days, and after these days, we will see what is the result. So, 
so good morning everyone we are here with team alpha they are going to explain us how this project is going and also the difficulties they have done during this process Maria please tell us how okay, do you so, see this um, we chose two buildings and uh, the first building geometrically it was pretty straightforward but the quantity of the functions in that it was a lot so we had a lot of lines even though they were like straight so it wasn't really hard to make them but there were so many so it took us a lot of time to do it and the second one there were like very few functions involved but getting them right was really really hard because they weren't like neat parabolas or neat circles they were like they weren't even like half cut shapes they were just weird so we just had to like do a lot of adjustments and see how each function fits together with other ones so that was really to do like uh, we, we, we learn like a reality and what we learn in class we just apply in reality the real structure how it comes uh, how it's gonna be uh, more so uh, we learn a lot uh, like uh, we can apply we know how to apply it we know how we learn how to apply it so we, we just uh, follow the structure we just do it and then rest of is there and thanks to my uh, team leader, he is doing a good job and we are cooperating like a group in online uh, team views and uh, I think uh, last night uh, he continuously called me and I said sorry sorry for that and we are continuously like uh, one or two hours in a group uh, with it and then we are doing it uh, and make the shift together um, that's all and for the most important thing, the, these things is like so much interesting. When, when we're when the teachers were to tell us that we have a challenge and we are so much excited for the challenge, and next on he gave us the docs, and we thought this, this would be more interesting and hardest things. But when we're, we're doing this, and we just apply what we learn in our class and what we know, what we have, and we just made it in their most and that's all this, the job is done. And then one thing is, I want to add that from childhood, that uh, the children say that uh, why this education is uh, used for in the future. So I want to add that this education is used for making the drawing or uh, in the next time, making the show the building uh, structure. How they can uh, in the building structure with mathematic equation, with mathematic formula. Uh, so that we have learned in the class. And uh, Mr. Marco said us to that we do want to learn this because we want to help this equation or help in doing uh, this uh, in test books. Now we can put that uh, mathematics uh, can do anything like to, to make them change the new world. Like if every equation you see that makes a sense and makes something uh, like to design how to design this thing. Okay, so what about Team Infinity? How do you see this activity? This okay, uh, the, the hardest part was uh, at the beginning of uh, its um, drawing of its building because uh, we had to find the equations for the shapes because it's building in the same shape shapes repeated like for the windows or the um, like the columns and uh, so the hardest part was find the right equation for that shape and then um, also um, finding the, um, the intersection between the different shapes and uh, then maybe the, um, the range finding the right range through this program we learn how to reconstruct the buildings in Desmos and we, we discover the map is everywhere. Yeah, the 
was really useful using uh, Desmos for this uh, project because it shows um, how even the change of the, uh, the slightest change of X or Y can change like the shape of a graph. So maybe next time when we see in actual math like the kind of graph, you can imagine the uh, the actual shape of the graph and uh, maybe just how it will change for each X. And um, so I think it, that's really useful. Yeah. Yeah, I think it will be a lie if I said there is no problem in our group. Of course, if we do teamwork, there is always a problem because we have like different thoughts what how to solve it because there is a lot of way to solve it. And but at the end, we did a great job. Uh, we solved it all. And I think yeah, for me, it's very useful and interesting. And we I think we become mastered in this ones, you know, after this this um, PBL learning. Around how much hours have you invested in doing this project? More than six hours. So you, yeah. and the eight hours to sleep, yeah. like So the strategy, the strategy to work for you was divide the activities, divide uh, the, some tasks, uh, and then that's join what them. We tried to do at first, but we felt like it was a bit difficult to coordinate, so we so did it together. You did it together. Yeah. Okay. What about your strategy of work? You work in a separate way, or you? Uh, you work Actually, together. We work separate way, but like when we have difficulties, we ask each other and ask each other's opinion. What do you think of this? And what, what, what way should we solve this? So uh -huh. yeah, we actually work together, but separately. Okay. So which material have you used to uh, develop this project? Which kind of books? Which kind of information have you used? No, we don't use any book. We only use what we learn. What do you hope? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Back at the, at the past exercises we yeah. in class, maybe with the ones with the graph. Yeah. Yes. And, uh, then I used that information to make the graph on yeah. Desmos. Okay, great. What about you? What kind of material have you used to perform this task? Actually, it's similar, uh, like uh, them, what they are saying. We also just, uh, what we learn from the class, we just uh, try to apply those things and figure out the problems and then we yeah, solve we mostly use two, uh, two, I think, uh, like softwares, you can say, Desmos, and yes. then uh, since we found it hard to actually like physically come together and work on the project, we uh, use TeamViewer yeah, to team. share our individual oh, tasks and then see how we can uh, combine them. Okay, okay. So, I have a question. How have you the the most uh, the most complicated structure. Did you use some software to fit, or you just fit it using uh, some known functions and adjusting the the functions? We have used a number to fix the end point. Sorry. Uh, we have used a number to fix the end point. Not not software. Numbers. So you mean in decimals? You have, That's why we have adjusted. adjusted. Okay. Okay. What about you guys? Adjust it. I expect how a graph will be, and then I try to choose the number to make it look uh, yeah. that way. And then the range, uh, range, range. Okay. Yeah. But okay. No okay, great. So when do you expect to finish this task completely? This coming Friday. This coming Friday. Okay. So what about you? By Friday will be. By Friday will be done. Yeah. Okay. So we are eager to see the final result. Thank you so much, guys, for your time. Thank you. And thanks to 
Mr. Marco uh, that could give us this challenge. If you know the mathematics, if you know how to apply it, then... That, that we are not We can change the world.